chicken dinner remember the prediction contest from months ago okay for the toledo half marathon well we did a little, nobody got the time correct but we ended up doing a live stream where i gave away a pair of alpha flies yes uh well first of all life got crazy with moving but also sizing was an issue along with shipping over to the uk from the united states Bottom line, here we go. Ken, you win the Alpha Flies. Finally, we're getting them shipped off to you at 4.56 a.m. in the morning here in Colorado. I'm buying them right now. Congratulations. And on that note, you know how I roll. Early bird gets the worm, okay? So here's the deal. We're going to give away another pair. So if you're watching early in the morning, it pays to wake up. I'm a big believer as a runner in going to bed early. Waking up early, starting the day by turning that doorknob. You all know me, so here we go. What first person to answer below in the comments, okay? First person, answer below in the comments. This past week, here's the question. And you're gonna win a pair of either Asics Nova Blasts, uh, the New Balance um, uh, Rebel V2, or the Skechers Max Road 5. Okay, those are the three options you get to choose from. Skechers Max Road 5, New Balance Rebel V2, or the Asics Nova Blast 2. Okay, so here we go. Question is, I set an FKT about four days ago. Go watch it, upper right-hand corner, all right? What shoes was I wearing, huh? What shoes were I wearing in the FKT? First person to comment down below wins a pair of shoes, but, but, you have to email me. I will announce it probably tomorrow, the winner, okay? But you gotta email me, and that's that's where it falls on you, your your mailing address, or else obviously I can't send them to you. So again, congrat congratulations, Ken. Finally, finally, they're on their way. Here they go, flying off to the UK. Before I forget, I'm going through everybody's photos. Thank you for submitting your photos uh, for the website, okay? If you have great, if you have shoes like the Rebel V2, speaking of the Rebel V2, the Mach 4, the Nova Blast 2, the uh, Fresh Foam More V3, um, if you have taken those shoes past 300, I know I keep saying this, but we want to crowdsource the wear and tear, okay? So there's a form down below in the description. Click on that form and then fill it out. Should take, you know, one minute and then upload three photos. One of the upper, one of the midsole, one of the outsole. Here are some examples and closer the better for the photos, okay? So get that detail of what the midsole looks like after 300 miles. 500 miles, a thousand miles, whatever the case may be for your shoes. Okay, DGR Strong, let's get it going in in the comments. Uh, the shoe emoji down below, okay? Come on, we got this. Help each other have a better understanding of the durability prediction for these shoes, okay? Because I can only, you know, I just can't take them past 50. Oh. I'm so excited. All right, here we go.
spice up those pancakes a little bit. Some uh, banana mixed in there, some strawberry, and of course, a few chocolate chips to boot. All right, whoa, hello. So, here we go. These boys are growing. They need their, uh, actually, I'm listening to a book right now all about like babies. Well, it's not all about babies, but I learned about babies yesterday running up Mount Evans, you know me. I don't listen to music, I, I love to learn. So I listen to audiobooks and podcasts, mostly audiobooks. And yesterday's book, ooh, I don't remember the title, but I, I learned a lot about babies and why they sleep so much in the first two years of life because their brains are developing so much. Uh, they need, here we go, they need fat, lots of fat, which, you know, of course comes from the mama, uh, breastfeeding, but also from the food you're giving them. So anyway, hopefully Henry appreciates these pancakes. Uh oh, hold on. Michael, Henry, come look. <laughs> Yummy. You guys set? I have feeding, feeding an army around here, right boys? Got to keep the, uh, keep the tummies full. Mm-hmm, I'm telling you, scissors. Solves a lot of, solves a lot of issues in the kitchen. Last week was a pretty solid week up in the mountains, can't complain at all. And so you better believe we're going back to Costco to get those pretzels I just love. <laughs> foodies out there, DDGR foodies, you know what I'm talking about. The Costco uh, peanut butter stuffed pretzels. Worked out last week, we're going back. It's just my go-to night time snack right now all right costco on a saturday now this is a brave moment right here d g r strong boy where to even begin so much to talk about every single day thanks to all of you first of all there was more boxes at the post office i couldn't pick them up because they were closed so, because there are slips of paper inside the P.O. box, so we are gonna not open these up. We'll open these up probably Tuesday or Wednesday. Stay tuned, and I got it. All right, comment of the day going out to Danny. So yesterday, the question of the day was all about what challenges could we do? Uh, this is Danny J. Thanks for being a member, Danny. Uh, what challenges could we do on a global scale? There were so many great ideas. You know, Everesting, who can run the same elevation as Mount Everest in your hometown, just doing loops in a park or doing, you know, a mountain nearby where you live. So that was one idea that was shared. But Danny shared, and this is the comment of the day, I do a workout called EMOM, every minute on the minute. It's usually something like five pull-ups, eight push-ups, and 10 squats every minute for 10 to 20 minutes. The remaining time is used to rest. How about a running EHOH every hour on the hour. Every hour go out for a one to three mile run for 24 hours with the only rest time being the remaining hour. Let's see who can go the full 24 and who can log the most mileage. Danny, I think that's a great, great idea. I've actually heard, I think of other people doing this as well. Uh, but anyway, if you want more ideas on challenges that we could do together as DGR Strong, go watch yesterday's vlog, go to the comments. Um, okay, here we go. Question of the day. Borrowing this, actually, no, it was sent to me. It was uh, sent to me from, uh, I guess it's kind of borrowing, from Chris. 
Chris Miranda, I do believe is his name from Discord. Thank you, Chris. Here we go. Chris, uh, this is just a great idea uh, or a great question. I got to thinking about QODs, maybe one for the future. Well, Chris, the future is now. Here we go. He says, if you could organize a race, and this is the question of the day for all of you. If you could organize a race, where would you have it? What distance would you offer? What would it be named? So what would it be named? I don't know. But I was just thinking, nobody take this. It's a good one. A half marathon up and down Grays and Tories. It's from the parking lot. If you do both mountains, it's almost exactly a half marathon. And those are my go-to training mountains. You could go left up Grays, so then you get traffic out of the way. And then the leaders might hit some of the traffic on the way back down off of Tories. I think it's a brilliant... I mean, I don't even know how I would go about organizing that race, but a half marathon mountain race of Grays and Tories. Chris, that is my answer. I have no idea how I would, uh, what I would call it. Who knows? The DGR GT Vertical Challenge. No, I don't know. Okay, here we go. Giving away more running shoes. So the Alpha Flies this morning uh, to Ken. And then uh, what else? What else? The other shoes. Oh, yeah. Whoever comments down below with the shoe from the FKT. And then some Nova Blast shoes uh, were not claimed when I gave away. I found these. We're packing up the house. I found these in the closet. Nobody ever claimed two pairs. Okay. So again, Instagram. Here it is. Size set. Sorry, I don't have more sizes, but there's two sizes uh, remaining. Okay, small sizes. So anyone out there with smaller feet, it's your lucky day. Size seven and seven and a half. First people to tag me on Instagram, you got to take a picture in a story on Instagram. Take a picture of the inside of your shoe. Okay, so I can see the size and prove that you wear size seven or seven and a half. And then you have to send me, once I alert you that you won, um, I, you have to send me your mailing address. Sound good? Okay, size seven, US, US, US size seven. So you might have to convert it uh, size seven or seven and a half. All right, but you got to take a picture of the inside of your shoe. Onward and upward. I think I covered it all. Oh my goodness. We'll open up these boxes another time. <laughs> DGR strong, all right? We're just trying to get running shoes on the feet of as many people as possible around the world, all right? So we can get out there, breathe a little bit, sweat a little bit, you know, feel good, get those endorphins pumping, and uh, support each other in the process, all right? So that's what we're doing today on YouTube. All right, we will toss it to, um, I don't even know. You know what, we'll go totally random. Uh, a mystery, a mystery vlog, right there, right there. Mystery vlog, all right? So go have some fun right there, right there, right there. All right, everyone, see beauty. Work hard and love each other. See you tomorrow.